Rainbow Six Siege unveiled the new operation, Operation Heavy Metal, and with that came the Operator Ram. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full Operator Guide so that you know how to play her coming into the new season. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. First of all, let's go over Ram's loadout. She has one of the best loadouts on attack so far. The R4C with a 1.5x scope or a 2x scope depending on what you want, which already is a great weapon, but with the best scope in the entire game, this weapon is even better for fragging potential. If you don't like that though, she also has Zofia's LMG, the LMGE, which has 150 rounds with 41 damage and okay to control recoil. If you put a compensator if you're on console or maybe a flash hider if you're on PC, this LMG can actually be pretty good. Next, going over her secondary weapon, she's the option between the Mark 1 9mm and the ITA shotgun. Now, personally, you're always going to want to run the ITA shotgun. Because of the nature of her ability, it only allows you to play vertically in a straight line or in a slightly curved line, so if there's any vertical play that you missed, you can clean it up with the shotgun. Going over her secondary abilities, she has flash grenades if you want to go for a more fragger type of playstyle, or smoke grenades if you want to go for a more team utility support type of playstyle instead. Now that we've gone over her general loadout, I'm going to bring you into a custom game and give you the basics of RAM so that you can play it more effectively in your ranked games. Now that I've brought you into Cafe, which is one of the best maps for vertical play, I'm going to teach you how to play RAM correctly. So, first of all, let's open this hatch right here and let's pretend that we are attacking the first floor sites right here, or second floor, excuse me. Now, as RAM, you want to be looking for the longest line of sight possible for your drones to take. So, right now, I think the best angle would be going from here to here because you want to be able to get the longest line possible without your drone getting obstructed or running into anything right so i could put a drone right here and as you can see from this blue line it's going to go straight until it reaches the border right there where it can't destroy the floor anymore which is going to be great because typically it's only going to last to about like right here anyways just because of how long the drone lasts so you want to be making sure that wherever you put it it's not obstructed by anything which is a pretty basic tip Next, what you want to make sure that you do is if you have a plan where you're going to throw a drone to make vert, let's say that the site is kitchen below me, you want to see if you're able to also destroy any soft walls along the way. So as you can see here, I put it in a place where I know that it was going to make vert on the kitchen, but it's also going to destroy the soft wall here on its way. As you can see, it's making vert for kitchen. I can see almost into prep as well. This is a pretty good hole. And then it breaks the wall, which gives me a rotate, but also allows me to get angles that I wouldn't have before because this wall is broken. One thing that's also cool about these tanks specifically is they can just break barricades by throwing them at them. So there's potential that you can do with these drones where you can throw them in barricades and immediately activate them. Take this hallway for example. This is just a long strip of soft wood that this drone can get and all you have to do is you just throw it at the barricade without any danger of anybody on the staircases because there's still a barricade there that's blocking you. Once you throw it in there, you can easily just activate it and not only will it make vert for all of the hallway down below, but it also will destroy this wall, giving you a rotate and an angle onto the brown stairs. If it reaches, it might not. Hold on. Does it reach? Oh, it just barely doesn't reach. So maybe you can throw it out a little bit further, but you get the idea. Like now I have vert for all of this. I can see if anybody swings this double door. I can see anybody on these default head holes here. I can see anybody that's sitting Harry Potter, top red, whatever it may be. And now I have a really good angle, but like using drones to cover really long strips of vert like this is really, really effective. Another underrated tip with RAM is the fact that just having your drone next to soft destruction is enough to destroy that soft destruction. So you really don't even need to drive it through walls, you can just have it drive next to the walls. So if I drive my drone parallel to this wall, let's say that I'm attacking from Whiskey and I drive it just like this, it's going to destroy all of this wall right here. Which is great for me because I have a shotgun that I can use to open up holes here and now I have a super long angle all into kitchen, all into even the prep window, all into rice. And now I can just easily kill any defender sitting in sight. And now I'm able to walk in, maybe even use this as a rotate to get in here and plant. So using Ram's device to destroy soft walls that are adjacent to the actual drone is super important and valuable and something that you can do very reliably. Next, I'm going to go over Ram's playstyle. Now, the one thing that you need to understand with Ram is she is not a fragger. She's not a flex. She's actually a support operator. The reason that she is a support operator above all else is because she is a three armor and she brings smoke grenades. Smoke grenades are one gadget that are just meant to be used for the team to help you get plants down and to help you get site executes because you're able to deny an entire area for defenders to see you while also giving yourself cover if you want to get the bomb down. So let's say for whatever reason you bring a ram to a third floor site where you can't even play vert anyways and you have smoke grenades. I, as the ram, because I'm a three armor, would let my fraggers drop the hatch, get the kills or get killed for me, and then my slow ass would then drop the hatch and then get kills as well. So because you're so slow, 
but you also have the fragging potential with your 1.5, you want to play very reserved and only get kills when you need to so that you can execute onto the bomb site. Let's say I drop this hatch, we get kills, it's whatever. Now I want to plant right here. I can use my smoke grenades to cut off lines of sight like this so they can't swing me from the double door. Maybe smoke this doorway as well. And then I can use Ram's gadget again because it makes so much noise to just drive it in. And now I get a free plant down because you can't even hear this plant. Listen, you can't even hear it. It's completely silent, right? Because this gadget is so loud. Even Gridlock was used in this aspect before because her gadget is so loud it would cover plants very well. So using Gridlock and Ram to be able to secure plants is an extremely viable thing to do because they make so much noise and they bring smoke grenades that you can use to execute on the site and get the plant down. So again, just in conclusion, in terms of Ram's playstyle, you want to be playing her as a support and you want to be using her to get executes on site and to get the plant down by making noise with her gadget and by getting vert with her gadget or soft destruction in general. Now that I've gone over the basics with Ram and how to use her ability and her playstyle, I'm going to go over some advanced tips and tricks that you might have not known that you can do with this operator. So let's pretend for a moment that the site is reading downstairs and you want to get vert on the reading site. Now, a really powerful way to get vert is by getting all of this bar area right here destroyed. But here's the issue. Like I said with Ram, you want to be pointing the gadget in a direction where it isn't obstructed by anything, which this cannot do because there's this cabinet and there's these two bar walls here that will stop your drone. So how do you negate this? Well, with her drone, you can actually curve it by just pressing the secondary fire mode option button on your keyboard. You can see I can turn it to the left, I can turn it to the right. So if I angle this correctly and I put it like, let's say right here, I can angle it to go to the right to where it curves naturally and gets all of the floor instead of it being obstructed if I go in a straight line. So watch this. Now I get all of this bar vert. And look, it still keeps going, even though it hit the cabinet. And look, I get a perfect crescent shape right here. And now I have vert all into reading from bar. I can see behind the couches, behind the bookshelf here, on the rotate, on the door, on the feed holes. And then all it takes is one more drone right here. And now you have vert onto the entire reading site, right? Because you get all of this reading and it goes probably all the way up to like right here. And that can all be done with just two drones. You have vert on all of the site now. So a really important thing is just learning common sight lines like that. If you go into custom games and you just learn where the vert is for every single site by just shotgunning it open, you can learn really effective RAM lineups like that that will give you vert onto the entirety of the site completely with just one or two drones if you just take the time to actually sit in the custom game and learn it. Because that's the cool thing with RAM is her gadget goes for so long so you can get some really cool lineups with her. One more cool tip with RAM is, like I said, if you drive the RAM gadgets next to any soft destruction, it will break it. It doesn't necessarily have to actually hit the tank like you saw with the kitchen example earlier. This also works for above the tank. So if I throw the tank, let's say on top of this train. Oh, what the f If I throw it on top of the train right here. Oh my God, that might actually work. You can see that it actually destroys the ceiling. Let's see if it works. It did. Whoa. Okay, cool. But it'll destroy the ceiling. So this is actually kind of a bad example because there's nothing really like above here that I can shoot unless there's somebody in this corner right here. But there's a bunch of case examples on different maps where this can actually be super useful. So I just thought I'd throw it in there as a tip that you can use uh, in some like niche scenarios just in case you don't want to play buck or something. So one last tip with Ram is this thing is literally a bulletproof tank. So the one thing about this gadget that makes it really powerful, it is completely uncounterable by any defending gadgets. The only way you can actually destroy this thing or mitigate it at least is shooting the canister on the back, which makes it just die or by using explosives like impact grenades, nitro cells, grenades, whatever you use on it to destroy it. This means that you can drive it at literally anything and it keeps going. Rooney gates don't stop it, mute jammers don't stop it, mozzie pests don't stop it, so it can destroy deployable shields, zombie barricades, castle barricades, soft walls, it can destroy anything except for reinforcements. So you can use this thing like you would use a Gon 6 or frag grenades. If you're pushing down here and you see the really common pixel shield right here, all you have to do is throw a little boop and then move and then now you're just able to get the shield it's super super easy so you can kind of use this as a replacement for frag grenades or for gone sixes or for just bulletproof destructibility in general because it's able to destroy literally everything except for reinforcements so this thing overall is super versatile and then finally my last tip that i'm going to tell you is like i said you can use this thing to destroy any soft destruction around it right but you can use that to your advantage so let's say that you want to plant right here or maybe you want to plant behind the bar 
Well, if you want to do this and you want to make it to where it's very hard for defenders to defuse the bomb, you can simply just throw a ram device right here. Maybe even curve it to the right, I guess, if I angle it just a little better. Go to the right. Yeah, that'll do. Break the suitcase. Now, you can plant right here. And then after you're done planting, you activate the gadget, right? Because you can remotely activate it. And then now you just have the diffuser right here. You've activated this and it destroys the entire bar, right? I guess not maybe the entire bar, but you get it. It opens up lines of sight. So now you can sit as an attacker in bathroom and cocktail. And if anybody tries to defuse this, it's much easier for you to be able to see through the bar to defender that's right there. It also opens up vert. So like I said, she's a super plant friendly operator. And if you use her devices, not only to make sound when you're planting, but also to make vert when you're planting, so you can go below and shoot the defender. It's a really viable option for this operator to do so. With that out of the way, that is it for the RAM guide. Check out this video where I go over all of the other changes that is going on the next upcoming season for Operation Heavy Metal. And my name's Alka, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.